Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing another product review. Now the product that I'm going to be reviewing is a Diva Curl B Leave-In. Now this is a product that you guys chose for me to review next. If you guys saw that video where I asked you which vi No. What did I say? Which product should I try next? I did a poll and this one by 6040. I got a screenshot around here of how much this one by. So this is a product that you guys chose for me to review. What's cool about this product is that this product is 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Before I start, I wanted to try this product ever since January, but I never got around to it. Ever since my friend Sadie, hey Sadie, she tried this product and I think I'm gonna show you guys a text conversation between me and her where she told me that I need to try it and I'm like, oh my God, I wanna try try it or no how did the text conversation go she told me she bought it and I was like oh my gosh I want to review this don't tell me your thoughts because I don't want to get swayed blah 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 something like that you're gonna see the text conversation ever since January I really wanted to try this product and I'm glad that you guys chose it as the number one choice for me to try next because this is something that I really wanted to try out anyways if you want to bring out your natural curls plump them up and add moisture and shine this is exactly what you need this lightweight jelly contains a conditioning and strengthening blend of wheat protein lemongrass and chamomile this moisturizing form as instant shine volume and plumpness to curls so I'm gonna be testing out this product to see if it does add instant shine volume and plumpness to my curls so we'll see about that I didn't even know what this product claimed to do I saw that it was a leave-in so I thought that this would be like some kind of conditioning product but I didn't know that it was a jelly so I bought this product at Ulta and it retails for $20 so yeah not bad it, I mean it kind of is a little bad because it's only six fluid ounces and it's 20 bucks but if you guys use a little bit then it can last you a long time because I don't think you really need a lot of this product just because it looks like a jelly and I don't know if it would weigh your hair down if you use a lot I mean, I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? This is my first time reviewing this product. So let me just open this up so we can see how it smells. And it has a little protector shield, which I love when they do that. Oh, it smells good. It smells just like the, the no poo, I think, or the one condition. It smells like one of those products, but it smells really good. It has like a, a citrus smell. It says it has lemongrass. You could definitely smell that in here. It smells like lemony, citrusy, but it smells really good. So it's definitely a jelly. Okay, so it looks like that. So let me read to you guys how to use this. Rub between your palms and apply generously to wet or damp curls. Glide the product downward to elongate or scrunch it onto hair in an upward motion to add body and to play up your natural texture. Okay, so I have the product right here. So it's like a jelly. It really is. Like you can see that. So let me rub it in the, between my palms. Oh wow, this thing is really soft. This thing really glides throughout your hair. So this is all that I'm gonna apply onto my hair. So, so far it glided through my hair really nice. So I wanna see how my hair is gonna look once it air dries, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So what I like about this product is that there's completely no hold. There is no hold in my hair, and I'm surprised. I thought that there would be like a little bit of a cast, at least a little cast, but this product leaves no hold in your hair, so I do like that. Like there is really no hold. I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought there would be like at least a little bit of a cast. My hair is looking very shiny. I don't know if you guys can see the shine in my hair. For first day hair, my hair is looking voluminous. I can't wait to see how my day two and day three will look. Hopefully it gets a little bit more voluminous, but so far first day hair, there is some volume to it. it is look as flat as when I put other products in my hair like this looks a little bit more voluminous now my hair doesn't feel dry but it looks a little dry like in my ends a little bit it looks a little dry I don't know if that's because I didn't apply as much product maybe I didn't apply a lot of product here I don't know but it looks a little dry but my hair doesn't feel dry whatsoever so I do like that you smell the product in your hair a little bit it's not as strong as when you first applied it so it does fade away a little bit and leave a nice scent in your hair so far my first impression of this product is that it's doing what it's claiming to do you know it says that it'll provide shine and volume and I said I'll plump my curls I don't know what that means I don't know if my curls look a little bit plump maybe my curls will look more plump tomorrow I'm not sure but so far my hair is looking good and I do like that today is day two of me trying out the diva curl hair product and let me just say how voluminous does my hair look look at all this volume this is crazy I wasn't expecting this at all the first day I thought okay my hair looks all right this product said that it's for volume and hello this is voluminous and let me just tell you i applied more in my hair and it still doesn't leave any crunchiness any hard cast and my hair is still very soft so it's crazy like this is completely soft and it's so voluminous so i do like that um i think my hair still looks a little shiny 
I think I think there's still some shine to it. I didn't want to style it too much because I wanted you guys to see how natural it looked. But I, you know, I wanted to add more product to see if I could fix any of like the frizziness or anything like that. So I did do that. But you guys can still see how voluminous my hair looks, which is crazy. Like I'm really surprised by how voluminous my hair looks. My hair isn't as defined as I would like it to be. My curls are still intact. You can still see my curls since it's big, since it's so voluminous. The definition seems to be lost. I don't know. My hair isn't as defined as I would like it to be. Yeah, this is all I have to say about my second day hair. I love how voluminous it is and it just smells good. It's very soft to the touch, like touching my hair. I can't help but touch my hair. Like it's really soft. So I'm curious to see how my day three hair will look. I wonder how tomorrow is going to be. How big is it going to get? I don't know. Hey guys, so today is day three of me trying out this hair product so I can give you guys my opinions and my thoughts for today. I have some flakes and why is there flakes on my hair? I don't know. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see how my hair is currently looking. I got like many, many little flakes. It's super little, especially in the front. Like you see a lot in the front. You see all of it right here. Look at all these flakes. Like this is a big one. All this little flakiness. You can see the flakes that I'm working with. I'm working with a lot of mini flakes, especially in the front of my hair, which I'm like, oh, sucks because I do like this product, but it kind of flakes. So day three, I'm noticing some hair flakes. No, I noticed this last night. So day two, I noticed some flakes. So that's one of the major cons so far with this product. But overall, this is just how my hair is looking on day three. It's still voluminous. It's still super soft. Not as defined as I would like it to be, but I do notice some flakes. So that's a major con that I'm noticing so far with this hair product. So I'll check back with you guys tomorrow for my final thoughts. Uh, today is going to be the fourth and final day of me trying out this product right here so I could give you guys my overall thoughts and review. So let me start by saying the pros of this product. Now a pro of this product will be the scent. I think that it smells really good. Diva Curl in general smells really good. Another pro is that this product claims to give you guys volume and my hair is very very voluminous. So it did do that. This product claims to leave your hair shiny. I think it did provide some nice shine to my hair. So those are the pros that I find with this product. With this product, I do find some cons. So the first con for me would be that it doesn't really leave your hair super defined. You see all this like frizziness, undefined curls. So if you're a person who likes your hair to be super defined and you would like to see your ringlets, you wanna see your curl definition, you wanna see all this, I don't think this product will work well for you. I think that you would probably have to use, well you will definitely have to use a stronger curl defining cream with this product because by itself, as you guys see, I have like a lot of frizz. I have a lot of undefined curl pieces around my hair. So by itself, this product will not define your curls or it won't keep your curls defined for a long time. Maybe on the first day, my curls were more defined, some sections, but now day four, you see all my hair is looking all type of crazy. No, 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 it's not looking crazy. It's looking undefined. It's looking undefined. So that's what I'm noticing with this product. It doesn't really leave your curls defined. Another con would be that this product does cause some flakes. I noticed some flakes as I showed you guys yesterday all throughout, you know, the front of my hair. I noticed some flakes and I don't think I applied such a heavy hand I feel like I applied a regular amount but maybe if you guys apply a little less than I did or just a little less in general I feel like it might not flake I don't think this product really moisturized my hair my hair doesn't feel super dry it doesn't feel dry it feels really soft if you were to add like a good leave-in conditioner first and then you apply this product then your hair will be super moisturized, super big, super voluminous, super soft, so that will be good. Yeah, I don't think this product is bad. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you want a super voluminous look, soft, big hair, I feel like this product will work wonders for you. But if you're the type of person who likes your hair to be more defined, you like to see your ringlets, you don't really care for a super big hair, then I don't think this product will work out for you. You can use this product, but you just have to make sure you use extra products with it. Maybe a good defining cream, maybe something else with this product, because by itself, you're gonna get this type of hair. Maybe not exactly this type, but you're gonna get voluminous, soft, big hair. Like my hair is very soft right now. So if you guys like that type of hairstyle, like soft hair, well, I mean, everybody likes soft hair, but if you really want a lot of volume without picking out your hair, I feel like this product would do a good job. But if you guys don't, then this product might not be for you. Or like I said, you have to use some other products with it. So this is pretty much all I have to say about this product. If you guys tried this product out before, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? How to use this product? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read it. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. And yeah, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so I can show you guys what I'm talking about, but let's zoom you guys in so you guys can know what I'm talking about. So let's zoom you guys in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? How many times I'm gonna say that? Oh my god, I need some water. I feel like my voice is cracking. Hello?